Next up on WTV, the drive through job fair, this week's edition of My Life Fast, and today's Sports Minute. The WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, January 14th, and I'm Cooper Regal with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Getting a job in Frisco ISD could be as easy as taking a short drive. WTV's Evan Buckner explains. In an effort to keep socially distanced and avoid close contact, the district is taking its job fair on Saturday to the parking lot at the administration building on Ohio Drive. Starting at 9 a.m. running till noon, prospective employees will have their chance to find out about possible job opportunities without leaving their car. Available positions include bus drivers, crossing guards, bus monitors, cafeteria cooks, cafeteria cashiers, and special education paraprofessionals. Participants must wear masks or facial coverings and remain in their vehicle. To find out more about current job openings in the district, go to friscoisd.org slash employment slash current dash openings. Reporting for WTV, I am Evan Buckner. Most people have hobbies, whether that's playing an instrument, playing video games, or reading books. One Red Hawk turned her passion for videography and sharing her culture into a successful YouTube channel. WTV's Akil Katori has a story. The decision to start a YouTube channel is something millions of people, companies, and organizations have made since the platform launched in 2005. For some channels, it's all about fun. For others, it's a business. For junior Stephanie Chung, it was born after a school project. Born in South Korea, Chung moved to England when her dad got a new job in London when she was 12. However, Chung was surprised at the lack of knowledge her peers in London had about Korea and the Korean culture. What turned out to be a simple class assignment in school shaped what would become a YouTube channel. After a couple of days, unexpectedly, the views were hitting the roof with a lot of interesting comments from all over the globe. What started off as a channel to spread awareness about Korea slowly morphed to include other niches like travel videos, K-pop and BTS, and much more. I cover a variety of contents, which includes a series of videos that deal with culture shocks from different countries, differences in education systems, and share useful information for those who wish to study abroad. In addition, I often upload travel videos taken during my visits to various countries in Europe and also create content to unfold my views regarding BTS and K-pop phenomenon. Her journey through YouTube not only helped others gain an insight into the impressive history and culture of Korea, but also helped her in ways she did not expect. YouTube enabled me to communicate with people from all over the world, share different opinions, and made me realize how everyone can have their own perspective on identical subjects. Finally, when I was struggling to adjust to new environments in different countries, a lot of people gave me hope and encouraged me to overcome the challenges very successfully. Reporting for WTV, this is Akhil Katuri. On this week's edition of My Life As, WTV takes a look into the life of basketball player Stryker Virgil. I'm Stryker Virgil, I'm a senior and I play the shooting guard for Liberty. A normal day in practice usually be like, we'll go to the court and stretch a little bit. We'll do like some static stretching, which is like, like uh, not moving. And we'll usually start off with like some light shooting drills or like to get our legs warm or whatever. And then usually after that, we'll get into like some three on three scrimmaging type stuff and then run over our offense and then probably do that for like an hour, something like that, and then we're done. I started playing basketball because um, I love the game and, you know, my ultimate goal was to go to college for free to play the game and that's what I wanted to do. WTV's TJ Krilowitz gives you a look at basketball and soccer in today's Sports Minute. Boys and girls soccer went up against Lebanon Trail on Tuesday. For the boys, the team scored two goals and gave up two, giving them their second tie in a row. 
For the girls, the team went on a scoring spree, putting the ball in the net four times en route to a 4-2 victory, giving them their first win in District 9-5A. Both teams will face off against Centennial on Friday. The girls will kick off at 6.30 and the boys will kick off at 8. Both games will be at Centennial. Also, boys basketball went up against Lebanon Trail on Tuesday. The game went into the Red Hawks' favor quickly as they went on the win 67-46, putting the boys basketball record at 4-5 on the season. Girls basketball looked to extend their winning streak to three on Tuesday when they also went against Lebanon Trail. The Trailblazers could not keep up with the Red Hawks as they almost doubled Lebanon Trail's points as they won 47-24. The Red Hawks are now 8-3 in District 9-5A. Both teams will travel west on Rolliter to go up against Centennial tomorrow. The girls will tip off at 6.30 while the boys will tip off at 8. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Kurlowitz. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Applications for student council are now open. Applications are due by the 22nd and you can sign up by scanning the QR code below. FCCLA is collecting peanut butter and jelly donations for Frisco Love Packs from January 11th to January 27th. Donations of peanut butter, jelly, and other allergy-friendly alternatives can be left in E104, E105, or the box in the rotunda. That's it for today's daily update. This is Cooper Ragel for Wingspan TV.